I got into metal smithing at a really young age because my dad works on cars and taught me how to weld when I was about 12. My favorite thing would be to hang out in the shop with him. He would teach me the tools and everything and once I got to a point where I was watching him do these projects and I was so fascinated by the outcome, he'd let me weld some things together and experiment and have fun. My name is Christy Bogle and I am passionate about metalsmithing. I grew up collecting vintage uh, sterling silver, turquoise, mostly stuff from the southwest that highly influences my work because I am constantly going back through my memory and remembering digging through treasures and finding things that resonated and it was 99% of the time turquoise. My studio is four different work spaces, four different benches. Three of those benches are completely dedicated to chaos of stones. The way that I've learned that my brain sees designs the best is to lay out stones that are inspiring me at the moment and then see how they play together. So sometimes two stones will just accidentally bump into each other. I'm like, oh my gosh, there it is. Other times I will very strategically pick out, you know, 10 to 12 stones that I feel work well together for a collection. Now I am going to melt silver and uh, you heat it at high temperatures, it will melt and suck into a perfectly round ball. And I use that as detailing for the piece. So I'm going to put the ring into the patina to blacken it. When I go to polish it, all the high points will pop with silver and the rest will stay darkened. And I just use my bezel pusher and slowly form it around the stone. But when I really dip into that creative mode and I kind of let myself go and I don't have an agenda, I lose track of everything. My thought process is non-existent. Time disappears, sometimes six, seven hours go by, and I have no idea that much time has passed because I'm just I've sunken into a different space. It's just an ebb and flow of trying to get into that, into that creative space where you get to say, nothing matters right now, and we'll just see what comes of it. And that's my favorite feeling in the entire world. I will spend my life chasing that feeling.